is a long standing unsolved problem that is that gold one on one performs the two electron reduction selectively. Right? It performs the two electron reduction selectively, and so can we explain this using this treatment? Right? So now what we want to do is to try and understand what 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 is the underlying what is the underlying catalyst for oxygen? Two protons, two electrons, two hydrogen peroxide. What's the simplest thing I could do? Well, if you, you, can, you can take oxygen, two protons, two electrons, you add that as OOH, and then instead of breaking the oxygen oxygen bond, you add another proton and electron and you form hydrogen peroxide. Okay. Now, let's take the same, same, uh, same sort of understanding, uh, the free energy diagram. This is now plotted at a potential of 0.6. At 0.68, hydrogen peroxide and oxygen are in, in equilibrium. Uh, now what you see is gold one on one, which we supposedly which supposedly performs two electron reduction selectively, gold one on one actually binds OOH weak enough that it almost catalyzes hydrogen peroxide at the equilibrium potential. It, it pays a small voltage penalty, but really it's it's good for the reason that it's lousy for the reduction all the way to water. It's good for that reason because it binds this intermediate weak enough that it goes to hydrogen peroxide. Platinum one-on-one, -on, -one, on the other hand, is bad because it binds OOH too strongly, so you cannot get OOH off. So now this is the robustness of a model. So the uh, the original this is the original uh, work you know, for the four electrons, and so what you see here is the right leg, which is to get OOH on the surface. The right leg of the volcano you know, is exactly the same. There is now a new free energy new new free energy equation that limits the left leg of the volcano, and so the descriptor is exactly the same because OOH binds uh, OOH correlates with OH as I told you, and so this is the four electron volcano. So the two electron essentially all that one needs to do is to draw another straight line here, and then the x-axis point is already fixed, and so if the if the theory predicts it well, then all the points should lie on that, and so. Well, we, we, we get we get reasonable agreement between theory and experiment. This is, this is uh, these are predictions that are accurate to of the order of 0.1 volts, which I think is is uh, is quite remarkable. Actually, this single plot has about 25 years of experiments in, in oxygen reduction. It was almost uh, all of the wonderful experiments that came out of out of LDL in uh, in oxygen reduction.